Jesus who cares for us, Jesus provides for us in paths of righteousness, he leads the way. Jesus forgives us, gathers and teaches us, he is my Savior, Lord, my shepherd when I stray. for us, Jesus provides for us, in paths of righteousness, He leads the way. Jesus forgives us, gathers and teaches us, He is my Savior, Lord, my shepherd, when I stray. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord, no matter how I've wandered, no matter how lost, He loves me always and forever, no matter what, always and forever, no matter what. Everybody, come on in. It's good to see everyone again. I'm so glad you came back to the farm. Have a seat. Zeke is helping me arrange these flowers that I cut. Aren't they pretty? I planted these last spring and now we're just gonna... Okay, Zeke, can I have that flower? Oh, thanks. There. Thanks for your help, Zeke. How do they look? They look great. Aren't they pretty? Hi, Rachel. Hello. Good morning. Oh, oh, here they are again. Here comes Chloe. Chloe, <laughs> look at them. Don't, don't. You're going to knock over the flowers. Look at the flowers. Aren't they pretty? She probably likes to eat them. Oh, pretty yeah. Nice. Be careful. Okay. Oh, you better get down. You better get down now. <laughs> I heard you were talking again, and we had to come up here to see what was happening. So we just walked up the path from the pasture. Oh, that reminds me about a verse from the 23rd Psalm when you talk about the path. You know the psalm we've been learning about? Yeah, the, the first part was, um, The Lord is my, my shepherd, shepherd, I shall, shall not, not want. want. And right? the second part was, He makes me lie down in green pastures. That's the funniest part. And then you can get up and jump around in the grass and... <laughs> you have fun in the grass, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's right. It reminds us that God provides everything that we need. What's the next part? Well, the next part is, the next verse is, He leads me in paths of righteousness. Right, 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 what? He leads me in paths of righteousness. Let me put him up here on the, on the clothesline first. Yes, righteousness is a big word, and it means that God shows us, the, or the, and the Bible shows us, um, how to do what is good, and what is right, and what is honest, and loving, and what is helpful. Oh, that's why it's such a big word. You know how we talked about the shepherd? The shepherd leads the sheep down the path to places that are good for them to get food and water and be safe from the storm. If the sheep stays on the path, the shepherd shows him they won't get lost or they won't get into danger or they won't get caught in the storm. How do we stay on the path to the barn when there's a storm coming? That's right. So Jesus is leading us down the path of righteousness. 
when he tells us stories about how we should live, like how we should trust God and how we can help one another and love one another and how we should act. Like be nice and not mean to others? Yes, definitely. Like share with others instead of being greedy and selfish and and be thankful for the earth and all we have? Yes, Zeke, that's right. Because Jesus is the good shepherd. Well, it's good you have the Bible to learn all about that. Yes, that's true. But children, can you think of anyone else you see that uh, every day that acts like a good shepherd? Someone that teaches you about righteous ways? Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, like your pastor does. She always prays with everybody and helps everyone learn about Jesus. Exactly, Rachel. Our pastor is a shepherd because she loves us and she guides us and she prays for us every day and she teaches us. She shows us the way that we should go. If we're sick or we feel sad, she's there to help us and try to keep us out of danger. So our pastor is a special kind of shepherd. How about our parents? They teach lots of things about being nice, like taking care of little sisters and brothers and helping grandparents when they need it. Yes, that's exactly right, Zeke. Your parents teach you lots of things every day about uh, things that you should know and how to act and, and um, things that you need to know um, in, in life. And so your parents are shepherds too. Anyone else? Can you kids think of anybody else that's a shepherd in your life? Did I hear somebody talk about teachers? Yes, very good. Your teachers help you learn how to read and write and do math and they teach you about science because those are the things that you're going to need when you're a grown up. And so teachers teach you all kinds of things that keep you on the right path. They help you going down help you go down the right path. So, Zeke, can you think of anybody else? There's still some more people. I'll give you a hint. They wear uniforms. Hmm. Oh, like, what about the police and the firemen? Exactly. Policemen, police women and policemen and firefighters, they are also shepherds because they teach us the way to go to keep ourselves safe. Remember when you went to the 4th of July fireworks and afterwards everybody's trying to drive home at the same time and the policemen are out in the corners and they're going, go this way, go this way, go this way so that you will be safe. I like to watch the police officers when they're keeping us safe when yes, us down. Yes, they do that. If there's an accident, they'll do that. They'll stop and they'll make sure that nobody else gets hurt. And... And I like to hear the horn on the fire trucks. Honk, honk. Oh yes, those fire trucks. That's they make that noise so that you get out of their way because they've got some important work to do, and they want to make sure that um, you're safe when they're rushing away to to help someone. So it's good to see that they are always willing to help and and show us the way. These flowers remind me of how we can grow seeds that help us walk the path of righteousness. How about that? You mean like magic beans? Well, not exactly like magic beans, Rachel, but I've got a story to read right after music. So let's uh, get to music and then we'll see everybody later. I can't wait. <laughs>
So Gigi, tell us about your flowers. Oh, sure. Last spring, after the winter and after the snow was gone, I dug up the dirt and then I put these little tiny seeds in the ground and covered them up and I gave them some fertilizer, you know, fertilizer like vitamins. And then the sun came up and got everything all nice and warm and I put some water on it and I pulled out the weeds that wanted to grow so the weeds weren't there anymore. It was just my little plants coming up and voila! Now you have pretty flowers. Now I have pretty flowers. You know what? That reminds me of a story that Jesus told the people who came to see him. It's called the parable of the sower. He often told a story when he wanted people to learn something about God. Want me to read it? Yes, please. Okay. All right. It's in Matthew. It's in the New Testament again. It's in Matthew, Matthew, Mark. So it's in the first book of the New Testament, Matthew 13, starting at the beginning, verse number one. And so this is the story about the sower. So Jesus sat in a boat. Oh, Jesus was in a boat last week too. I guess Jesus liked to talk in a boat. That's because there were so many people on the shore they couldn't see him, so he went out into a boat so they could see him better and they could hear him better. So anyway, Jesus sat in a boat when he told some people on the shore a story about a sower who planted seeds on the ground. Some seeds landed on the path, you know, like the path that goes from the pasture up into the barn where everybody walks. But the birds came along and ate the seeds so the plants didn't grow. Some seeds landed in dirt with lots of rocks. The sun was too hot and burned these seeds, so the plants didn't grow. Some seeds landed in dirt with too many weeds. The weeds choked the seeds, so the plants didn't grow either. Some seeds landed in good soil, and the plants grew and grew. Jesus wants us to share God's word like the sower who scatters the seeds. Just like some of the seeds that didn't grow, some people will not listen to God's word, but many people will listen and God's word will grow in them. Yes. So the sower is like the farmer or like me, the gardener. Yeah, like you. Yeah. And the seeds that we're talking about is the word of God. That's what the seed means in this story, is the word of God. So the sower is someone who tells other people about God and his love for us. So the sower can be like the pastor? Yes, like the pastor who teaches us every Sunday when we come to church or your Sunday school teacher, those are like the sowers. Um, but it can also be like you or you kids. It can be like you. Anytime you tell other people about God, you are being a sower also. Really? Sure. But when the seeds fall on the hard ground, or when the bird eats the seeds, even though you tell them a good story, if the person doesn't listen to you or doesn't understand the message about God, then they won't necessarily take it into their heart. And when the seeds fall around the rock, it starts to grow, but then the dirt isn't good and it's too hot? Right, because when you've got a lot of rocks, the sun comes down and it gets really hot and there's not much dirt around the rocks. So the seeds don't have any place to put their roots. They can't, you can't let them uh, get into the dirt and so they, they end up not growing. And so that's like the person who hears the word of God, but they give up. They give up because life is too hard and they forget about it. They forget about what they heard. And the seed that falls by the weeds, the weeds don't let them get sunshine and water like your flowers? That's right. It's like the person who hears about God, but
but forgets about him because he's too worried about other things or he's always trying to get more things, more money and buy more things for himself and he forgets about the word of God. So the weeds or those things that are distracting him are keeping it so he can't grow. But when the seed falls on the soft ground, that's the best. That is the best. God wants his word to be shared all over. When people hear it, it's like the seeds falling on the good soil, and it will grow in people's hearts. We say that it bears fruit, or it bears flowers, or if it's um, uh, in people's hearts. So bearing fruit means that we develop faith and we trust in God. It means that we pray. That means we want to talk to God. When we pray, we are talking to God. And when the word grows in our hearts, then we want to talk to God and tell him about how we feel and thank him. And the other thing we do is read the Bible. We share with other people what we learn and we help others we want to help God. when the word of god is in our heart then we want to help other people and so we know that we are walking the path of righteousness like the 23rd psalm says and so that's when you can tell that the word of god is taking hold in somebody's heart oh yeah I know walking the path the shepherds show me leads to the best places like nice sweet grass and fresh water and playing with my friends and apples on the tree in the pasture that's right and I want to show you I want to show you about some seeds that I'm going to try to sow myself and this is a, a seed pod that comes from a a beautiful flower that grows in my yard and the butterflies just love these flowers you can see these are orange flowers and the butterflies come and they they drink all of the nectar that's in the flowers but see what's inside of this pod are all these little seeds and they're they're they have all these little hairs on them like and the hairs, you know, like the dandelion flowers, you see those in the pasture, the dandelions, and they get those white things and they fly all over all summer long. And so this does the same thing. This will take, it will go in the wind. See those fluffy, see, here's the seed on the bottom, that little brown thing on the bottom. And then the white thing, ah, it's in your hair. <laughs> And so I'm going to try to spread these and plant them in a new place. So there'll be these beautiful flowers in a different place, just like when we are the sowers and we tell people about God, the seeds will go in different places all over the world. That's great, Gigi, how exciting. I can't wait for spring. Neither can I, Rachel, neither can I. <sighs> Hi everyone, today's craft is going to be a little different. So we are not actually making a craft, but we were doing an activity. We are going to be playing follow the leader. So just kind of like in the story that we heard just a little earlier about the sower, how he would go out and he tried to plant a seed in the rocks and that didn't work. So he tried in the weeds and that didn't work. And maybe he thought about, you know, just giving up on that seed. It wouldn't plant, so what am I supposed to do? But God told him, come on, you can plant it over here and this will work, I promise. You can plant it here and this will work. So what did the sower do? He followed God and planted that seed and the seed grew. So we are going to play follow the leader, just kind of how the sower followed God. So how to play follow the leader? You need to choose one person to be your leader, and then the rest of the people playing just follow the leader. Whatever the leader does, you do too. You want to smell? Yeah. Oh, 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 chew. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I think it's 
time for a song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gigi, is it time to go already? Oh, I think it is. It's time already. It's time to go. I was having so much fun. <laughs> You've got seeds all over you. <laughs> yep, it is time to go, but we're so glad that all the kids came today, and we we'll look forward to seeing you next week. But before you go, let's pray. Okay. So, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for the gift of faith. Thank you for the gift of faith. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. That comes into our hearts. That comes into our hearts. And grows. And grows. Help us to share your word. Help us to share your word. With others. With others. So they learn about you and your love. So they learn about you and your love. In your name we pray, amen. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, great. Have a good week. You too, Gigi. Bye. Bye, kids. Rise and shine, make it